This is episode number three, and we're gonna be talking about earning based on results. What do you think about earning based on results? I think it was a, it, it was quite of a transition in my mind because I used to have a job, and when you have a job, you get paid whether you have results or not. Correct. So you get paid per hour or you pay salary, right? You, you some, trade some time. Some places not even like not even not even per hour. Uh, just you just have a salary. Like that's where I come from. I, when I was in El Salvador, I was working for a company. It didn't matter if I actually work or not. They were gonna pay me the same salary, which is to a certain degree. Like I was really happy with that. I was uh, I was happy that I had to be there by eight o'clock, clock out at five p.m. And I didn't have to stay later. Like I was gonna. I mean, you would not, you're not gonna get promoted, but you could just, just do stay nothing. there, do the minimum. <laughs> yes, so, the minimum amount of effort. So the, the one of the reasons why we started making good money. When I mean good money, one of the reasons why we got to seven figures mm -hmm. was the moment we realized or we made the decision to get paid on results. Yeah. So I suggest to people, like whether you have a job or find a job that they. There is a way for you to get paid in results. So there is a way for you, not only like if you need a salary because you need a salary, can you find a way for you to get paid on commission? Or if you do more, can you get paid more? Mm -hmm. Now, question for you. Now, not everybody can do that full time, 100%. I was a terrible employee though. You were a terrible employee? Terrible employee. I thought you were a great employee. <laughs> no. Huh? So what, what were you working as no, an employee? No, I called in sick. I will leave early. I will take longer lunches. I was late. I was a terrible employee. <laughs> you, I was uh, I was a really bad employee too. Like like uh, I will do the minimum just not to get fired. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that. Yeah, I, no, I was a bad, bad, bad employee. I will do exactly what I needed to do just to not I to get fired. I have actually had to uh, ask for forgiveness internally to my old employer. <laughs> like I like, felt bad. Yeah, yes. Sometimes I felt bad for my boss because my boss, uh, um, um, he was paying me. And I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. And the lunches, I used to take long lunches and everything. But the moment that that we get started getting paid on results, like you want to give more. And You're you willing to go the extra mile. You want to improve, actually. That's what I think that that's one of the greatest things of uh, me running a business. I found a, a version of myself that I didn't know about that I actually had to improve and learn and get better and want have, to become better. I have a question for you. Yes. So what is the major objection that I hear from people not going based on results is uh, the security. You, the security because if you don't know how to get results, if you don't get results, mm -hmm. you make zero. Yeah. You don't make any money. Yeah. So what do you suggest for those people? <laughs> what do I suggest? Or yes. What happened to us when we did that? So you can tell the years. story. <laughs> you can tell the story. So for the first two years was was rough. Was really rough. It, we. <laughs> because our results were bad. I wish, I wish I would have. I, I remember when I got started in business. And, uh, we had bad results. So. Uh, we, we were not getting any results. Any result, we were not getting zero results. We were not selling anything at the beginning when we got started. We fight a lot. I think so. <laughs> and, and, and I remember there was a time that I started applying for jobs. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And one day we're not selling, we're not selling, we're not selling. And one day I'm like about a lot of people will do these presentations. Oh my goodness. We will go for like I remember we went to this person's house and we're there for like two freaking hours. And I'm like, close it already, like do something. And we didn't close. Like we left the, and we had a terrible fight. I remember like we will fight and I'll be like, why did you close? Like why didn't you sell? Like yeah. Yeah. So I didn't After know how to get results. Those, yeah. Um, then I got to offer this job, and and I almost go and get a job. Mm -hmm. I almost get, get almost go get a job. But I needed the job. We needed the job. We needed to have this income. And then uh, the realization was when I'm about to go to this job, and uh, then you told me, um, if you're gonna go there, you're gonna put an effort mm -hmm. to do that. Why don't you just do the same effort? into doing our business. And what happened is um, I believe that sometimes we'd rather work for somebody to get on time. Like if somebody gets a job and somebody tells you, you need to read this book, that person gonna read it. Yeah. That person go and, and that person gonna go and read the, the material. Somebody tells you, you need to be here at 8 a.m. 
That's what we changed, though. We started yes, like, we said, that's we're going to change. look this. I'd rather you getting a job. We're going to look at it like if this is our job. And we got ourselves on a schedule, like a job schedule. Because before that, like, we were, oh, my goodness, we were bums. Like, we, the other day we were talking about it. You remember? We had one, we, so we're here in the office. And we had one of our, we're coming into the office. And was it like what? Uh, after lunch. Correct. So we went, we grab a quick lunch, we come back, and we see one of our agents leaving, right? <laughs> and Rodolfo makes this joke. He's like, yeah, that's why he never gets results. He showed up late. Then he just pretended to work for one hour or two, left, and he's and that's done. It. He called it a day. He's done he for the day. So what happened? But that's how we were. Like, that's we how we were. We show up late, like 10 o'clock. I cannot believe what, this is who we were. We will show up at 10 a.m., to the office of course we don't have this is not a job we are like we're right. running our business right we show up to our office at 10 a.m then we will leave for a two three hour lunch and then we will come back for a couple of hours call it the day at six o'clock like that's go it. home that's it and then we were complaining why are we not getting results why are we not making money correct so what we did was here's an advice somebody gave me okay mm -hmm. many salespeople or many people that are self-employed, or many people that are starting their business, oh, because I'm starting my business, I'm my own boss. I can do whatever I want. They show yeah. up at any time. They do whatever they, they want to. If they have kids, they're yeah. like, the kid is sick. Like, oh, let me stay I'm gonna home take with my, them. I'm going to mm -hmm. take my day off. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go. Oh, whatever they need to yeah. do. So what we did was, and here's the mindset, in probably opposite that all these gurus and all these people have told you, but I'm going to give you the mindset that we had when we were startup entrepreneurs. Yes. It wasn't like this. I'm going to get paid on results. Great. Why don't you start treating your business like a job? And we will like basically like pretend we were clocking in. Like we will run up the stairs at 830. Like sometimes I'll be like with my shoes on my hand because we're like about to be late for the cutoff of 8.30. Correct. Like our lunches. Like we time our lunches. Yeah. Okay. Hour, we good. only have a 30 minutes, 45 minute lunch because we needed to come back because in our job you do it like that. Yeah. And then we started treating our business like a job and it actually started paying like a business, not like a job. Yeah. And we started reading, we started developing, we started self-developing ourselves. Like we wouldn't... Um, we couldn't, uh, you know, when you don't have a job, you cannot call in sick sometimes. Sometimes you need to show up. Maybe you cannot say in the middle of the day, I need to pick up my kids and I need to do, I need to go to, to the <laughs> stuff because I had, I, had a, I had a business, but I had a job. But so many people, or they used to, do you remember the vacations? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I need to take a vacation. How many, it, just uh, take a vacation just because. So we take this vacation, we're like, we're killing it according to us, right? We're yeah. like, we're, we're now, we've been a, maybe like we four years, right? In business, three, four years in business. And we're, it's Christmas time. And we're like, we finally develop a team that is growing. And we're like, this is awesome. Let's go celebrate. Let's take two weeks off. More than two weeks. It was something crazy. It was something ridiculous. And we left for a vacation. When we came back, everyone was gone. Like everyone had lost. The excitement, the momentum. the momentum, and our business was again at the bottom of the bottom. So what happened is this. So if you want to get paying results, if you were to uh, ask me an advice, let's just say, Rodolfo. But it does is contradictory because people think that pay, get paid based on your results is like just do the job for you to get a result, get out of there, and then you have all the freedom in, the, in your life. Uh, you're going to have freedom, but not at the beginning. Not if you're a startup entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. you, of course you're looking for freedom. Of course you're gonna have a lot of freedom. Of course you're gonna have in the future when you have a business established, established business, you're gonna get a lot of money coming in, coming in, coming in because you develop systems and everything. But at the beginning, if you're a startup entrepreneur, like the ones that we were, because we were correct. Like, you need to give it all. You need to treat this as a job. And then all of a sudden you start treating as a business and things have started to happen. What I mean treating as a job, treating with a schedule, being predictable, working for this time to this time, not just saying, oh my gosh, because I have a business, I can do whatever I want. Yes, you will have the time to do it in the future. Now we do, now we do it in a different way. But I'm telling you, if you choose to get paid on results, you're gonna win more, you're gonna have the chance to earn as much as you, as much as you can, and in the future, you're not going to rely on a set up, set up uh, or established salary 
That's all you can get paid. You get paid based on results. I think my advice to people would be to, if you have the opportunity to have a job that is paying you all of this income, generate extra income by, by having a business that where you can earn income based on your results too. That's right. So you can double deep on your income. We didn't have that opportunity though. We were like- You know what I would tell people too? Like, <laughs> let's just say you have a job and you, you have the job and you're really good, you're an entrepreneur. Go to your boss and ask him, and listen, I know we have this salary. How can I get paid based on results? The other day I saw something like that that, uh, that I wasn't in agreement with though. That uh, somebody was saying, if you have a job, like, you know, just earn the income from your job and run your uh, business and just make money there to go run your business. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think, I think that if you become excellent, just exactly what you're saying, if you become excellent at your career, right, as, as, as it is, and you bring value to your company and you ask your boss or your uh, HR department, how can I bring more value? How can I earn more income? then you can grow in that ladder at the same time that you can grow a side, any, a side business. Any boss, any business that an entrepreneur comes, so entrepreneur, you're an employee within a company that come and ask, hey, I want to get paid, I want, what results can I bring to the company for me to get paid more? I believe any boss, any boss will create a structure uh, for that person to get paid more. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. So, <laughs> results will get you unlimited income, and that's why you want at the end, don't you? So, with that being said, that was point number three: get paid based on results, not only the, uh, not, not only change time for money. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.